I still want Italy. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it, smiling. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, Beska. I don't want your pity. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Then go get some payback. Dissolve so, Raza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. I know you won't. She's barely walking. She'll let us down, but... What else are we going to do? Oh, we're back with Mira. Okay. <laughs> you shouldn't say that. <laughs> Why not? Mira, I'll meet you inside. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? I need to speak with Lords Morgren and Andros. One of them might be working against my family. Doing what? If I knew that, I wouldn't be here. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you, but I can't risk it. Let's just ask nicely. Please, Sarah. I don't if she know. says no, then all right Maybe. then. Fine. Just all right. Stop making that face already. Never. You owe me for this. I owe you for a lot. I think. Actually, She's it's kind of even even. 50-50. Half and half. Stay out of trouble. I promise. Kind of. We'll try. At least she will. I don't know about me. I don't know about me. All I have to do is just stay away from Marjorie, right? No problem. It's a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This uh -oh. is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. Sorry, Mira. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue that. Playing the wingman it's game. Quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. I hear the wine. partial to a particular arbor red. What? It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Oh. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people. Oh, and... Lord Tarwick. Oh. What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate she ears anyway. <gasps> oh, really? My That's ears enough, are right? not we delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little <Stop> loads. <it. laughs> what? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? Uh... Let's just tell him. I just noticed Lord Andros and Morgren over there. What a shame. Ruining a perfectly good afternoon with that nonsense. Perhaps someone should encourage them to argue elsewhere. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. 
You wouldn't believe them. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! Who's he talking to? <laughs> Who the hell did he go talk to? Alright, well, let's go to him. Talk to him. Hell yeah, I don't want eavesdrop to his conversation. Screw that. <laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. For what? I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. If I tell you how I did it, what's in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. But I admire the gall. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. Don't tell me you just enjoy my company. You said if I got rid of that contract, we could work together. I did. But my situation has changed recently. And not for the better. What do you mean? I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud White Hill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter uh -huh. how I introduced them in the first place. That man would be nothing without me. It appears we have an enemy in common, Lord Morgren. I hadn't thought of it that way. Then perhaps you'll have better luck against Andros and his new partner, Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. <laughs> Leave him alone. Please excuse me. What? We're not done here. Alright, let's go see what he's all about. Is that? No, I don't think that's her. Looks like her, but I don't think that's her. Um, excuse me. Lyman Lannister. <laughs> wow. Shit. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. Here, let me help. That's very kind of you. Thank you. But I'm fine. I just get clumsy sometimes. Sometimes? I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. Boldly? I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? <laughs> Why is he shaking? You work with Lord Andros, right? Well, yes. We do some business together. What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. You can trust me, Lord Lyman. I won't tell anyone. I, well, I suppose Lyman, I could just... what do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros, we were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I, I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again. Hoo-hoo. Uh oh, uh oh, duck and cover, duck and cover, duck and cover. Run, why are you just standing there? 
Oh my gosh, she's literally coming right to me. Lady oh, get safe, Sarah. Now let me run away. Let me run away. Oh, get safe, get safe. Time to get the hell out of here. Oh, what are you doing? Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. You, you think? Right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? Don't tease me, Lord Tarwick. I'll keep your secret safe. Who? I suppose I could tell you. If you'll first tell me something about Sarah. All right, all right. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What? I don't even know that. Another family. Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I can vouch for her family. I, she, family. I owe her. Her, I owe her. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. She owes me one. She owes me two. Right. Lyman Lannister. Until she gets in trouble for lying. Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse. Needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. I won't tell. I promise. After I tell a couple people. I hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Oh. Lady Mira. Am I going to go tell him? Is that what's about to happen? I could eat something. Oh, hell yeah. I'm going to eat something. I've never... I don't think Mira ever eats, so I'm just gonna let her eat something. <laughs> get a get a quick bite, you know, why not? Can I talk to it doesn't oh, I can't talk to it. Alright, let's see if I can talk to him. Everyone is talking about you, Lady Mira. Not oh, good. Lord Andros is rather loud. The look on his face. Whatever you did to make him so angry, I applaud you for it. I have to be going. Oh, that's it? Alright, fine. Let's go talk to him then. Let's go talk to him. Hey, Mr. Shaky. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. I think you'll want to hear this. Hear what? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take this. Lord Andros has betrayed you. I know everything. What? What do you... The milk of the poppy. You drink it like wine. Damn. Since your injury at Lannisport. You wouldn't... 
Andros wouldn't. He's not your friend. <laughs>